everybody, this is Dax, you're you, and I hope you're staying healthy in these crazy times of ours. I've been out for about a week, and uh, part of the reason for that is that I'm starting another channel, a, I guess you could say maybe a comedy channel, with a good buddy of mine, and we're going to probably publish, start publishing it to where people can see it in about a week. Um, so we did one last Friday, we're going to do two tomorrow and two the following Friday, and then we'll probably publish it after we have about five videos up. So I'll probably post a link to it in case y'all are interested in seeing me with my friend making fun of toilet paper and other craziness in the world and quarantines and just the stuff that goes on in the world. Anyway. So yeah, that's what I've been busy doing. I'm not going to stop doing music reactions. I'm probably not even going to slow them down. I'm still going to put out two, three, four, five a week and do that other channel and run my business. So it's going to be a busy time. Anyway, this is going to be uh, Grace, Grace Vanderwall, doing 13, her rendition of 13 by Big Star on the Jimmy Kimmel show yet again. I think Jimmy Kimmel loves Grace Vanderwall. So as you probably already know, uh, Big Star, uh, this was a number one hit for Big Star in 1972, I think it was. It ran under my radar. I never even had heard it before. So um, Grace, as Stargirl, and uh, her cohort, Leo, did a really sweet rendition of this in the movie Stargirl, which Grace and Graham Vercher starred in. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this. I think it's really impressive that Grace does so many soft songs in front of a live audience. Um, not too many singers have the bravado, the bravery, the courage to do that. But certainly the sweet and courageous Grace does have that courage. So what do you say we get going on 13 by Grace Vanderwall? This is about a week ago. So here we go. <clears throat> Sitting it down again, what you get in today and tomorrow. Won't you let me walk you home from school? Melissa. Won't you let me meet you at the pool? I love how she pulls that out. Maybe Friday I can get tickets for the And I'll take you mm -hmm. Wow, so soulful Won't you tell your dad, get off my back <laughs> Tell him what we said about painting black Rock and roll is here to stay Come inside where it's okay And I'll share
the Jimmy Kimmel Live concerts. Man, man, man. Man, that, ah, that just reached in and grabbed me. Right there, even at the very beginning. I mean, I, I was tearing up there for the first 30 seconds. It's just Grace's voice that takes me there right away. No other singer, no other singer has ever done that for me. Where they just start singing and I immediately just start going there. Karen Carpenter, I guess, occasionally sort of did that. And maybe a few others, but Grace does that for me almost every time, especially on her soft songs. And I have to say, as much as I like Big Star on this, I mean, they it's a phenomenal song. And Leo did a good job on this, Graham Verscher. But this, this just takes it to a whole different sort of love level. And the, the way she kept her control of her voice is getting so amazing. That easy, smooth raspiness that she had throughout this and her elegance not just in voice, but the way Grace Grace is has always had some elegance. Even when she walked out in those banana pants the first time, you could see there was some elegance there, but she has just grown so elegantly. She has an elegant soul, and it comes out in her music. That was just phenomenal. I, I just can't believe she does these love songs on Jimmy Kimmel Live. I mean, this is a... This is a rowdy audience, and she's got them utterly captivated. You could hear a pin drop in that theater when she is singing. And Melissa, oh my goodness, I love her played down guitar on this and her backup vocals. It almost sounded like there were two or three other people in the vocals there. Maybe y'all could let me know. If not, I don't know how they did it, just those two. But it was a perfect combo, perfect combo. This was moving, really just moving. I can't wait to watch it again. I wish they could somehow put this version also on an album. Maybe they will, I don't know, but I just don't know how you beat that. How do you, how do you get better than that? I mean, Grace was vibed in. She was just so in with that. And I love that little part where she said, what you tell your dad? to get off my back, and she kind of looked over and smiled. <laughs> I could just see Grace saying that, but maybe not saying it, maybe just thinking it, but I thought that was a nice moment. Anyway, that song moved me, her rendition. Her Melissa. Melissa's got to get credit also. I mean, that was just there as a tandem. I mean, they just almost can't be beat, really. Anyway, a bunch of you recommended that I watch this. Thank you. I wasn't sure I was going to watch it because I'd already heard her sing 13. But then I'm like, if that many people tell me to watch it, then I got to watch it. So I did. Thank you to all of you. That was um, 13 by Grace Vanderwall. I'll catch you all on the backside. Take care of yourselves now. Bye.